here we go again. Harry Reams International Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, it's like 11 o'clock at night, a little later than usual. 11 o'clock at night because we're going on a red-eye flight with a stopover in Detroit. Las Vegas to Detroit and from Detroit to Buffalo. We're gonna shuffle off to Buffalo. Hopefully it's ladies night in Buffalo. Anyway, um, we're, I'm on my way to the gate to meet Steven and uh, Christy and then we'll meet up with the rest of the band in Detroit. So this is gonna be a good three day trip. If you're tuned in now, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned in to see Buffalo, Syracuse, also known as Jordan. Many of you know my heart belongs to Jordan or my home is in Jordan, whatever. And then uh, after that, uh oh, they're gonna page me. Oh shit. And then after that, uh, Massachusetts. And then back home. Anyway, I'm glad, uh, glad you're watching this, this ungodly hour. Let's see, busy. The airport is in Las Vegas in the middle of the night. People uh, come here uh, to gamble. The airport is a big spot for gambling. It's also a big spot for visiting uh, antique cars, collector's items, hot rods, whatever the fuck you call it. And here's the Aviation Museum. Oh, thank goodness the Aviation Museum is open and jumping. Anyway, uh, well, I just, looks like I got another, I got another two, three mile walk ahead of me. Just a short jog, and uh, anyway, I'll catch up with you in just a bit. Didn't sleep very well on the plane, but it's a comfortable seat and a lot of leg room. Anyway, now uh, we meet the rest of the band here and we all fly together to Buffalo. I just woke up from a short nap, very short nap. Too short a nap. Uh, we got in some shows and we'll organize in others. Thank God, I've got a great view. Uh, perfect view, actually. Look at that, how beautiful. Um, but uh, yeah, some days are a little bit more organized than others when you do this. You know, I could sleep a little longer or I could show you guys some interesting things. Life is short. We're all gonna drop dead soon. I wanted to make sure that we saw something interesting. So, uh, so I found someone who was nice enough to uh, join us, take us out and show us the town. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm bundling up because it's cold. It's cold here in Buffalo. And I figure, who knows, who knows when I'm gonna be back in Buffalo. But sometimes the only way you get to see the local sites is if you find somebody who's nice enough to, uh, to, to a local person who's nice enough to do that with you. So Aiden was nice enough. Uh, he's a big fan of Stephen Piercy and, uh, you know, a social media friend. So he was nice enough to take us out today. Um, I've never met him before. That's how this usually goes. Um, Never met him, but we're gonna we're gonna trust that he doesn't uh, leave us for dead. So I'm gonna go down and meet him now and show you guys Buffalo. Right now, it's a little after uh, 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 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Uh, Buffalo time. If this was Las Vegas, it would be uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So it's early, and we've been flying all night. And right now, a beautiful view of uh, Buffalo. I'm not sure you can see that. But like I said, when you go to new cities that you've never been to, you have to sometimes rely on somebody. And uh, here's Aiden. Hey, how's it going? Aiden was nice enough to uh, 
come and pick me up and he's a big rat fan and he's a local, local Buffalonian. What do you call Buffalo people? Oh yeah, Buffalonians. Is that right? Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah, that's right. accurate. <laughs> do you like the Bills? Uh, not a Bills fan, I'm a uh, Raiders fan Ooh, actually. You but... better not tell anyone that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Folks, please don't write nasty letters. Although the Raiders are in Las Vegas where I'm from. Yeah, so. true. Now at least. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Niagara Falls. I've always wanted to see uh, Niagara Falls ever since I saw Superman 2. Superman 2. You ever see Superman 2? Oh yeah, many years ago. <laughs> All right. I bet you they filmed that on the Canada side, right? Yeah, Canada. So yeah, across the border. For today, we're gonna see it. Anyway, so we're on our way uh, uh, to, to see something. Everyone else is in sleep, uh, sleep and cranky probably, but not me. I'm wide awake and chipper and excited to share Niagara Falls. Aiden tells me it's one of the seven wonders of the world. Did you know that? Well, you're going to see it in just a little bit. Perfect. Niagara Falls State Park. I've been to a lot of state parks, but never Niagara Falls. And it's amazing that in the distance, you can already see the, uh, uh, the water. It's a lot to see. All right, here we are, uh, Niagara Falls. I don't think I knew what to expect of Niagara Falls. I certainly didn't think you can get this close to the edge. How many idiots must uh, slip? You know, a lot of dumb people in the world. Uh, anyway, this is pretty cool. You gotta uh, get out and see life. So we're, uh, we're on a trail right now. What's the name of this trail? Uh, not 100% sure, but... It's the Not 100% Sure Bud Trail. And uh, anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out. But it's nice. Uh, yep, Seven Wonders of the World. Well, you went to school here. You must have learned. They must have teach you that. Yep. <laughs> so there it is, right behind us. Look at that. How crazy. And and to think, this is all because of a rock concert. When you think of a, a rock music venue, this is not exactly what you expect pretty residential area. I feel like uh, Dunder Mifflin is just down the street. Anyway, this is uh, this is the show place theater. And it looks it looks different to me. It doesn't look like most of the rock things I've been to, but uh, anyway. Let's take a look. Show place theater. But Joe, tell me about uh, tell me about this venue. A lot of history here. A lot of history. A lot of bands played here. Fallout, Fallout, War, Headstones. 
Um, obviously, Brad was here before. Uh, Firehouse, Starbucks, so Eleven, and that's the old movie theater converted into a concert hall. So excited about it. So what, like, what years was this a movie theater? 1911. 1911. It was converted to a concert hall back in 1993, and here we are. Wow, look at that. Years later. How crazy, 1911. Backstage in uh, Buffalo. And this is definitely an interesting uh, experience, as you'll see. You go from the stage to backstage to literally being in someone's backyard. How odd is that? Oh, first steps of music. But literally, we are in uh, somebody's backyard. And then, of course, you have the, uh, you gotta have an RV, and you gotta have an RV signed, with the Tiffany signed over the bed. And uh, I think we're alone now. And all kinds of other cool people. It's a slaughter, some uh, stuff. Ooh, Jesus, watch your head. Anyway, you guys are gonna experience uh, Buffalo with me and uh, for these kind of shows we don't usually have Stephen uh, come to sound check so he is back at the hotel uh, we are very odd 1911 how crazy is that at this place venue for the movie theater back in the day it's been around since 1911 so I'm fixing my Johnny Monaco haircut and uh, yeah it's just uh, it's strange to me. I mean, it's cool. And if you look, we got Delhi right here. Right? Where I come from in New York City, this would be called a Hodeg. Yeah, no, no doubt. This is a Hodeg. For those of my English speaking friends, Bodega means uh, like, a, like, a, like a shopping mini mart for the white folks. And uh, here we are. And play theater. Oh, did you? And we recorded Reach for the Sky, too. I have that live. I'm going to send it to you because it's you playing bass and Mark Turing on fucking guitar. Oh, yeah, okay, wow. I love it. Because yeah. we wrote it. One and a two and a three. And, oh, it's great. This is so cool. Fuck yeah, it is. This is some trivia. Yeah. People want oh, yeah, to see yeah. this, man. Uh, where is the after party? Tonight, the after party is at Speedway. Oh, you can hear we got great music uh, here at the Speedway. Anyway, it was a nice night, it was a nice show. I got my bag of parting gifts, and uh, we're here at the, uh, uh, whatever this is called, Buffalo Airport and Hotel. So anyway, good show here in Buffalo, New York. We're gonna get up early tomorrow, and we are gonna head to uh, uh, Jordan. My home is over Jordan, uh, New York, which is near Syracuse. It was a long day. Most of us have not been to sleep yet, including myself. Got off the red eye. Went to Niagara Falls. Went to sound check. I had a nice uh, dinner with Scott Coogan in this sports pub over here that we thought was Denny's. And uh, sorry, I'm having a bad hair night. It's been a long day. I'll tell you an interesting thing about this hotel. They've got a mannequin in the lobby that I think uh, Johnny Monaco would just love. Uh -oh. but yeah, as you can see, Johnny Monaco would love that. And uh, the rooms here are kind of tricky. You can find Stephen Pierce at the coffee at all hours. Forgive my New York accent from the way I say coffee. But anyway, my room is number 400. 
I don't think 400 would be on the fourth floor, but no, 400 is on the second floor, naturally. Anyway, well, I'm gonna head in and get, finally get a night's sleep. Thank you for watching. I saw him brushing his teeth in the... He did? He was standing in the hall. At least somebody has to be late. Gonna get video content out of him oh, being late. Oh, video content. Mm -hmm. Content. I'm an influencer. Oh, there he is. No, well, there he is. Man of the hour. And the one who's late. Cool. Uh, well, let me get your your this. Oh. Shame. Anyway, on the way to uh, Jordan, New York. Actually, this is going to be a quick, quick turnover. We just got here to uh, Weed Sport. I think it's called Weed Sport in New York. But anyway, just look around. This does not look like a place uh, you would have a rock club. That doesn't mean that uh, you can't. We're going to take a look at this place. This is called uh, Canal Side, I think. Canal Side. And this is in Jordan, New York. Anyway, I'm going to show you this place because uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely different. Cake's new entrance. I think that sign means it's new entrance. But let's just uh, around some more. Maybe this is the old entrance. And uh, again, if you look, there's some barns and things. And definitely uh, not what you would expect. Anyway, let's see. So here's the bar. This is probably an entrance. That's a bowl. Uh, that's the merch table right there. It's going to be. And this is the venue. Strange. I'm sure it would be great. But it's a little different. I don't know what it does sound like in here. How much installation? As the kids say. All right, so sound check is over, and uh, they told us that we're going to get a catered meal, and they're very excited about this catered meal. It's taking a long time. Now we're going to go around and see what do we think is the catered meal. Eric, let's start with you. I'm going to go with uh, roasted chicken and vegetables. That's pretty good. That, that sounds pretty good. Okay. Well, I think we're having beef, stro beef stroganoff tonight. Beef stroganoff. <laughs> really? <laughs> that is wow, that's adventurous. Beef stroganoff. Chicken and vegetables, and he's saying a pizza. My second Chicken guess would be pasta and meatballs or something. Oh, that's good. I have a little inside information that there is a salad involved. What? So that wow. throws off pizza, pizza, maybe? The chicken is a good guess because most cities you get some chicken, some kind of vegetable. Sure. And if when you hear catering, but I don't think we're getting this that. This isn't going to be catered. I mean, I saw a guy in a, in a kitchen over there, but he wasn't working. They sent out, though, whatever oh. it is. But I, okay, well, I'm going to guess then, Italian. Then, yeah, pasta. Yeah. yeah. I changed my answer? <laughs> this is exciting. This is a cliffhanger. Yeah. Can't what? Wait. I, I got to say, I'm going with you guys. Um, Italian. That it has to be so good. But I think it'll be. Pizzas. 
I think I think it's gonna be different styrofoam plates. Like there'll be like one little spaghetti and meatballs. That's what I think. Right. One little salad, and, yeah. and then we'll get our. Here's the garlic bread box. And they and they are supposed to feed seven this meal. And right now there are four of us, so there should yeah, be a lot gonna of food. Uh, it's supposed to be here at five. Is it? It's after five, right? Yeah. Yes, it's after five. Okay. So we're gonna sit here and wait. And the sooner we get, they were saying that they, you know, if it takes too long, they can bring it to our rooms. But how do you bring catering to our rooms? Do we all? <laughs> I'm going to Arby's. So I buy the hotel. Her mom's car. <laughs> we got the meat. This is the moment you've all waited for. Yes. We're gonna find out. Don't let me forget it. What's for doing? Here we go. Just hold on. All right, the moment we've all waited for. Okay, what go. is Ooh, for dinner? It's, it's a ride. Potatoes, oh. vegetables, and chicken. Eric Potatoes, wins. vegetables, and chicken. Oh my God. Eric is, <laughs> Eric is gonna take the pool. Uh, you can take it Thank out. Thank you. Yeah, you guys all right. get to eat and I take it all back. Here yeah. <laughs> so we go. That is amazing. Thank you. I'm fascinated to see what this is gonna look like. Wow, Eric broccoli. really thought this out. So pizza's not an option? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's it see. This is like rock and roll uh, Thanksgiving. Potato, mashed potatoes. So, I knew it would be this kind of party. I put my dick in the mat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that chicken. Oh, that's 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 chicken. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not Here we go. All right. Let's see any steaming hot. Yeah. Where we like it. Where are the plates? I, oh, got, got plates? I gotta be honest. I might go to Arby's. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh no. thank God. I was worried. Thank you. It looks delicious. Yes, thank you. Thank All you right. Thank you for your hard work. Yeah, thank you. Do you have the number for Arby's? Oh, my God. Take it. Oh, I wouldn't eat any of this. But, uh, but I'll watch you guys. <laughs> I'm going to ask Stephen where he went. <laughs> All right, look at where we I am wasting time with Jason Bray. Tommy Skeetle right here. The fuck? Seen him on the show? He, he did the Christmas special. I did the. Can you believe that? You're pretty good. Oh, he you. opened it. This is. Uh, yeah. He's also a judge on our uh, <laughs> on Golden Robot Record Contest. We're, gonna, we're, we're just talking about some of the great music. Which is, uh, I should take my glasses off. I'm leaving mine on. Yeah, you have you have Grandma glasses. shades fucking rule, son. You have way cooler glasses, but we're here and you know where we are. We are in Jordan, New York. I'm surprised. At a keg party or something. Or by a canal. Or by, a, by a keg in a canal. Yes. Uh, I think. In a barn. Like in a barn. But anyway, Tommy's band, Resistant Bite. I'm going to play here. Also from Resistant Bite, the National Hall for All Band is here. Well, that would be helpful when you're playing. That's Brian I? in the background playing bass. We're all doing it now. Yeah. You're ready to sound check. I'm interrupting their sound check. But, uh, it up. but it, anyway, it, it's, it's going to be good. You want to stay tuned. And Tommy's going to come back on the show. And we're going to talk all about the Civil War. They're saying, what the hell could you possibly be talking about the Civil War? Tommy, Civil War rocks, man. Great to see. All right, Tommy. I'm going to sound check. We'll talk Got to you later. Right. Hey, things about this show is that Brian Wheat from Tesla was there to see his old friend and former bandmate Tommy Skio 
And after the set, they came back and said hello to Stephen and I. Well, I used to travel with a certain band, and I would say, let's do the idiot check. I would look at a certain member and say, check. Here's a good idiot check. My glasses. Wouldn't suck if I left my glasses. Sometimes I get up and I say to myself, I wonder why. I'm suddenly blind, and that's because I um, forget I wear glasses. Now we're in Massachusetts, which is a long drive. This is the Fairfield Inn, Sweets or something. Scott Coogan. Hello. Scott Coogan, really, you must be in the thing. Look at you, I got the jacuzzi, jacuzzi suite. What room are you in? 315. I think you're yeah. down there with those guys. I, I have a separate uh, wing. Oh, good. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Thank you. All right, here we go, taking a look. Listen, there's music in here. Double bed, in case I make friends. Hopefully this music isn't trademarked so I don't get uh, demonetized. Take a look at the view. It looks like it's going to be a good one this time. I left my bag outside. Not really the best thing to do, but. And here it is. Look how beautiful. Right on the harbor. You can see the Nantucket right there, the legendary uh, Nantucket. Uh, I'm kind of just talking shit, but uh, anyway, nice view. Maybe some seagulls and some clam chowder. All right, just to fill you in, we had to uh, rent cars to get to Massachusetts. And so we did that and we split up. Chris Hager drive, uh, drove, excuse my language, Chris Hager drove one car and, he, and Jerry Montano went with him and then me, Eric Ferentino, Stephen Piercy, uh, Christy and uh, Scott Coogan 
we are in the second a car it was like the cannonball run we got here first and so now uh sound check starts in uh, just about an hour and so it's nice here it's nice to be in massachusetts you start to forget where you are and uh i need a shower and to shave and uh all those things anyway we'll be back this yeah toy world go kojo's toy world closed record store old jukebox cobblestone side of the boston massacre there's eric chris hager Community college, it's a big college town. What's up, Chris? Long time no see, man. Yeah, How are you? Hi, Doing good? Doing great. Right. Yeah, Chris. Right. 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 Just a short yeah. jog. Just a short jog. And uh, glamorous. And here we are, look how nice. Hi, how are you? All right, Kevin is showing us. The, uh, the, this venue here, and this is a great old building, right? It sure is. It, formerly a bank, and uh, <laughs> it's called the Vault for a reason. Uh, we have several vaults throughout the building that you will see, uh, I'm sure, at some point in his recording. This here is going to be the post-show um, meet and greet. Yeah, so you got this a nice meet and greet spot. This will be a private uh, PSC room. All right. He's got his, own, got his own little dressing room, yeah. People want to know what you do when you're a tour manager. You take a tour of the building, you sure. learn your way around. And this here, well, it's called the Boyd Room. This is uh, the main room for the band. Did you find black towels? I see them. Yes, we do. We, that's requested. The we one the, uh, thing. And, uh, the shower towels will be separate. I'll show you the room for that. That for, way you guys can retreat them on First thing Stephen asks for. Do they have black towels? Yeah. And that's how you know they read the rider. Yes, sir. All right, Kevin, that's good. All right. I got a question. How do you get to the stage from this spot? So from the stage, we have two options. We do have a serviceable elevator mm -hmm. down to the first level, or I'll uh, take you down the stairs since we came up in the elevator. Yeah, let's take a look. Because I want to know how do you get him in the building and how do you get him on the stage? Okay. So our uh, standard procedure is uh, I'll, I'll stand up top when we're ready to enter. Okay. I'll notify my staff that the talent's on their way down. Mm -hmm. At that time, we form a barricade. I'll show you that. All right. Do is we hold up all traffic outside. Okay. Then can congregate in this area before going on the stage. Okay. And you'll have a clear path. And then go right on, right on. Right down. We'll be 100% yeah. open. And the same thing with uh, egress at the end of the show. We have two options. We can bring him in the front door here, or I do have a side door we can bring him in. Let's take a look at the side door, because I'm leaning towards that. Although, if he goes in the side door, does he have to walk across the floor like this? No, he can go upstairs through the side door as well. I think that's what we're going to lean towards. Let's take a look. Everyone at home, you're learning tour life, the things you have to do. This here is a side entrance. Okay. So we can escort him right into here. Sorry, All right, right how are you? So we can pull in here, then, right? right? Without you think that'll be open? The alley's the alley be wide open. Then. Revan's telling us this is, used to be a bank and this is an actual vault. So, so. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So uh, a lot of people think it's just called the vault to say it's the vault. Sorry, sorry, no pictures. It's an lot. actual vault here, yeah, guys. You know this is the vault. <laughs> uh, Chris Hager's oh, here, wow. by the way. You know Chris put Hager him in the vault. Yeah, Chris, this is an actual vault. You ever play a bank before? No, I haven't, but uh, I think I'm about to, right? Bitch. I feel like, you, I feel like at some point you've played a vault. Holy oh, shit. Oh, yeah. the bodies. The lottery said this. Were you on hearing aid? Of course he was. All of Rough Cut is on hearing aid. There's a oh, hearing aid VHS tape. That, that of stars? Look at all this. Yeah, you got it, bro. Yeah. Look at that. And a vintage white rat t shirt, too. Yeah, this is from Providence. <laughs> nice, yeah. Oh, no, no, that's not dead. No, that's, that's, really. that's an original from the, like 84. Mm -hmm. yeah, City looks of like City it. 89. Oh, oh, 89. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. He, All right. He's yeah. on that, too, isn't he? I'll let you know. I'll let oh, he's Eric on that. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Awesome. Right. Thank, Thank you man. for being part Thanks, of our buddy. video. Yeah. You feel safe? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't either. Like this shit. We're on goddamn Cobblestone Street. Uh, yeah, they make it right here. Yeah. Like this shit. Oh, my like, God. This is like Jeez. a perfect oh. store. This is the craziest road yeah, I've Union ever done. Street. You're going to make a left on uh, Union Street. Steve. It's 270 feet up. Okay. Yep, this is Street. Union Street. Ooh, there's a historic landmark right there. Side of the Boston Tea Party. It's beautiful this time of year. Chris Leadfoot Hager. <laughs> I tell you, man. Go straight, go straight. go straight. It's Moby it's Dick's brewing. permission to sell these. Yeah. <laughs> wow. not me. Say, say Bobby Blotzer. Yeah. Oh, buddy, what do you got? You got picture discs and everything? It's a great place. Oh, wow, that's a badass. The mob rules. This is the toys we got to get you, Stephen. We got to get one of these. <laughs> oh, can I have this little Halford? <laughs> Look at little Halford. We got to get one of you like that. Yes, yes. Here, they, do need, they do need Oh, them. no way, Good. dude. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oops. I thought these were. I'm making the mess. Will you hold his? Will you hold his Ralph Halford? Oh. I mean, I think it's okay, but he wants it. <laughs> Steven wants oh, it. Is. Yes. Okay. It's a great little place. Wow. This is wow. a color disc, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I got that. Shit. I carry all the frontier stuff. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't know you, you shut that door. Back you you lock yeah, it too. Yeah, it's red. This one, we have that at home. It's oh, a red, okay. a red, uh, wait, uh, uh, Eric. Yes, sir. Yeah, you should what? take this. Yeah, take tell us what the name of the store is. Purchase it's Street it's Records. It's Purchase it's Street. It's yeah, Purchase it's Street it's Records it's in New Bedford, Mass. In New Bedford, Mass. So yeah, anyone who's watching, they got to stop by this place. Can I have this? Yes. Make him sign the other one for you. Yeah, I'll sign that for you. <laughs> Sell it for five thousand. And then you made up for the one. And then you made up for the one you gave him. <laughs> yeah, you want me to sign that for you? Let's sign her out of the cellar. How about that? Yeah, there yeah. you go. Bring you in ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you need a pen, or? I have a mine. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. Late night record store shopping. Late night record store shopping. Do you want to get any patches? Yeah, look around. You know what I like. Yeah. See what I like. Yeah. To the record Sorry. store? Um, or to just sign. Yeah, just if you want to just sign up. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great nice. cool. And here we have oh, there you go. We, so we, right? we have Ace yeah. Fairley or Tommy yeah. Fair as the case may be right here. I made him put reach for the sky in that book. That's my art director. Well, take it back. Yeah, let's take it back. Put that crap all in there. I love him. He's cool. I remember him. Oh, he's great. Remember him back in the 80s? 81, 82. Here, grab that. That record actually has Bobby on it. Oh, it does? Alan St. John and everybody. Wow. This store is going to have no wrap. I'll put that on a shirt, a jacket. I'll put it on your jacket. How about that? Oh, that's even cooler. Look at that. Thank you, brother. Right next to the we'll see it. Hey, get my number. We'll it's get your number. Let's chit chat. It's very cool. Yeah, it's really that. cool. All right. That might be Late the best night record shop. Dude, oh, do you have his number? I do. I get... That was worth it. That is great. Today is Monday. It feels like Sunday. Yeah. And we're going back uh, to Las Vegas. And uh, it was a good trip. This was definitely a good trip. You should probably talk louder because the sounds of the harbor are uh, over here. Um, we were gonna go out at 11 and all kind of get lunch, but uh, it started sprinkling a little bit and Stephen thought the guys might wanna stay in. And they did. So checkout is now uh, one o'clock. These glasses always appear perfect. So check out to 1 p.m. I thought I'm gonna get up nice and early for me and show you guys the sights. Nice view. We're gonna take a look. See what the neighborhood has in store for us. Starting to rain a little bit. I don't know if I'd call it rain, but more of a drizzle. It doesn't rain in Las Vegas. There's droughts. So we're just walking here to New Bedford, Massachusetts. I thought this walk was going to be much more exciting, but really I just walk it past buildings and things. Um, I don't really get to see anything in most places. Oh, close. Yeah, but this was a good trip. As I sit back and reflect, I can't remember. You know, people think it's so exciting. You have to remember it. But I, I can't imagine many bands can remember their entire uh, uh, trips. But yeah, we left Las Vegas and we came to the first show. Buffalo. Buffalo. We went to Jordan, New York, which is basically you know, Syracuse. After that, uh, we ended up here in Massachusetts. This was my favorite. The venue was incredibly organized. The band played really good. And uh, well, I'm tired. As it rains, I start to think I'd better start walking a little faster. That is where the hotel is. Down there. When you grow up in New York City, you often say, if I can see it, I can walk to it. I'm going to test that theory right now. Just to show how long my walk is, I walked past. Long here. Still got more to do, and we have to be on the road at one o'clock. It's 12:15. 
Will I make it? I'm sure I will. Well, lobby call is at 1 p.m. It's 12.25. That means 30 minutes of just lying here, uh, fully dressed. Made it a go. Okay, so, so this is the Massachusetts lottery. Yep. And we're going to no, see. Are we, in, are we in Connecticut or Massachusetts? We're in Massachusetts. Okay. But so we're going to scratch them off in Connecticut. And we're going to see. Diamonds are good. This is it. We're going to retire. Yep. Diamond. Uh, no, just 169. Yeah, and then 81, please. Uh, no, two more. 65. 69 better with two. And. Usually. What was the other one, guys? I got an 81. Did you get 69? Yeah, I got 69. I got I got 65. I got 81. Jerry liked that. Let me do a 78. That's good. Yeah, that was the other one, right? Yeah. This is a new game show. <laughs> Coogan's Bluff. <laughs> Scott Coogan on um, lottery. Well, well, I did New York. Now, huh? We're ma uh, magicians. No, we're musicians. We just played in uh, New Bedford. We're on our way to, to the airport. Right, and you won a hundred dollars in. I won a hundred dollars in New York. Yeah. So now we're gonna give Massachusetts yeah. a no, shot. I don't really know where we are, but this we're, is Massachusetts. We're in Rhode Island. I think we're in Rhode Island. Check your lottery. Oh, tickets. I gotta see my lottery. Tickets. <laughs> we've we've begun a new game where uh -huh. we see the, the Scott Coogan which win, which states, and which states, and he has some good ones. This is Massachusetts. We're in Massachusetts. So we're, but we're the state going. I was born in, so hopefully I'll get lucky on one, at least yeah, one. You, so, uh, you want to stay tuned. This is yep. really stay tuned. This is this is Chris Hager. If, if don't believe it, you read on Google. Chris Hager was not married to an actress. He never wrote North and South. <laughs> but he was on Here and Aid and he was in Buff Cut. And Mickey Rat. That I was. Yeah. So believe that. That's the truth. But don't believe it. <laughs> well, you, you... My mom loves you guys. Oh, great. Do you want me to get the meat? <laughs> Here, hold on. But let me get... New England clam chowder. He's doing the proper tank. First, the smell. Make sure it's not too hot. No, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Does yeah, it taste it's like it's really it's from a body of water? A little salty. All right, a little salty. Yeah. No, I'm going to taste this uh, clam chowder. We all have it. We all have it. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah. Two fries are going to be all right. But... Thank you. I think it's a. Yeah, I have a water with lemon, and I would. I'll have the same thing, like a chicken sandwich. I think it's a little fishy. Right, thank you. By the way, we've been joined by Scott Hogan, Hello. who will be uh, scratching. We'll be starting the lottery um, show here pretty soon. Yeah. If you're looking for Stephen Pearson, you can see him in the back, the, the background. <laughs> He's very excited. Okay, these are the Massachusetts ones. All right. So let's. This is how this all started. We were in New York. New York. You bought some lottery tickets. I did. It was late at night. Um, and we had gone back to get some food after show. Rainy night. rainy night. One rainy night in New York. Mm -hmm. And I saw this really nice machine. It was a... Um, listening. It was, yeah, it was a computer, <laughs> a computer screen. And we picked a couple. And I got two. You okay. scratched in the privacy of your own room. I did. Yeah. <laughs> and then I did the card. What was the results? Um, and it was a result of um, <laughs> number 18 hit $100. $100. $100. Uh -huh. bucks. So... We're gonna start here. We picked, we had a, a lot of fun, as you can see in the uh, prior video. Yeah. We picked um, the numbers out of the cabinet, and here we go. Oh, sure. Great. Wouldn't it be great if you just hit enough to retire right now? <laughs> <laughs> Walk away? I'd buy us a tour bus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what I, what I do go. is, uh, first, I do, first I do these numbers. I never look at the totals. I love 23, that's our, that's our number. That's our number. Yep. Mm -hmm. 12. 18 again, that's that's what I hit the other one on. That's good. 16 is a good number. And then we have 36, one. I've never gotten one before. Okay, Four. let's check out the winning numbers. All right, now here we go. And the winning numbers are? 29. No 29. 38. 37. Very close. No 38. But there are no bonus points for close. All right. Two, definitely not a two, because we have the one. And there's no other, like, three things. Yeah, okay. it's coming down to it here. Yeah, it's coming down. This is getting exciting. 27. 
No 27. Club. No 27. Come on, 12. 26. No 26. Darn. One more. 30. Oh, oh 40. Oh, can can nope. we shoot them for small server diving? Yeah, that is not a fabulous <laughs> one. Yeah, okay, that's one. We have a loser on the first okay, one. Okay, we're going to do oh, diamonds happens. 50. We got the 50 times diamonds. Diamonds 50. Yep. Eighteen. Oh, there's my food. Big, big over there? No, not yet. You got it. Oh have. my God. Yeah. He's won. <laughs> Thank you. Enough, okay. Thank you. He scratched a, a sandwich and a, <laughs> he won. It's not looking good, boys. Twelve. Diamonds are not forever. Right. Twelve. Multi platinum rock star sneaking around behind you. Twenty nine. Is that twenty nine or twenty eight? See that? Pulling the pink bag. <laughs> what is that? Twenty nine. Yeah. Do you think no, he 29. wishes he was scratching tickets with the boys? Okay, we'll do the other two after I eat. All right, here we go. Okay, spectacular. Oh, Went geez. up to four. Wouldn't four million? We can even get a fraction. So okay, let's see what million. our numbers are. Hold on, let me just clean the table. Okay. I'll oh yeah. Sorry. I bust. Oh, no, sorry. I bust tables yeah. when I'm not. Uh, okay, we got. Chucking and we have. Could be big. Oh, it's a key. Oh, oh, these are the special ones. Okay, so you can get a diamond, a crown, or a ring. And that's a key, so that's not a winner. Four million dollars. I know. <laughs> we, we get a little content. Okay, this one has to win something. This is the four million dollar platinum, platinum titanium. Platinum. titanium. Okay, all right. That was the four million spectacular. This is the brilliant titanium. Let's see this what is, we this have. This is the big one. Oh, 23. We have a winner. Uh oh, 23. Four 23. Let's see what how much it is. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Mail it, baby. Dollars. It's a free ticket. I uh, made a, a record 13. that's coming out on Golden Robot Records later this year on vinyl. Do you know that? Yeah. And there's a song on it called 23. And uh, I wrote it with Scott uh, Griffin. And you know the uh, trivia question for those at home. Do you know who the first drummer to ever play with the Cincinnati Rejects was? Bobby Watson, yes. You were so close. Scott Coogan right there. Oh, <laughs> I was? Even he didn't get it. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Even he yeah. I got you're close. I got diagnosed. Thanks a lot. I got close. Oh, because we were you're both in Iraq or whatever. Yeah. I, I got diagnosed with diabetes and I was legally blind and, and we played the Palms the night before and Scott said to me, what's wrong with you? Your playing was really bad and wor worse than usual. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. I and did. I went to a doctor because he was he was right. And I helped that? you. He did. He did. And I was legally blind. And he, sa he saved my life. Yeah. I was like, a wow. I was like, was you, can you not see your fretboard or something? It was really off. <laughs> <laughs> I lost thirty bucks. Wow. And I won eighty, so I'm up fifty. But look at all the fun we between had between New York and Massachusetts. I'm up eighty. Next time we're gonna do this again. Scott, Scott Coogan's lottery. Scott Coogan's lottery. Yeah. The wheel of Scott Coogan. <laughs> the state, different states traveling Next lottery. Next state we will be in is Utah. Utah. They love to, to go Utah. In Utah. They love to gamble. All right, well, stay tuned. Now, <laughs> now we're gonna get on the plane. <laughs> Sadly, shortly after the recording of this video, both of these guys would test positive for COVID. So Scott was able to postpone his trip and we found a replacement for him. Chris, on the other hand, didn't realize he was positive until he was actually out on the road. Stay tuned to the next episode to see what happens.